You know, the old band hall burned down years and years ago, and then they built this to replace it. And it was much, much smaller than it is today. It was, um, you know, one little rehearsal hall with some offices and a couple of restrooms, and we're done. And it, and it survived that way for a while. But then we just got so big so fast, you know, in the early 90s, we just ran out of space. So we added Jansen Hall on and, you know, opened it in 97. And so we've enjoyed that space now for, what, 11 years. And, uh, you know, we... It's hard for me to imagine how we could get along without that space. I mean, it's home. You know, there are students that are in the entry foyer where the big TV is and where all the awards are and those kind of things. That that space is pretty much full 24/7. At breakfast time or at lunch time or at dinner time, that place is going to be packed with students eating. Uh, they study there a lot. Uh, obviously, that is a very uh, social, recreational kind of area in terms of them just to, to do things together and catch up. So yeah, this is a very, very active space on campus. It's vibrant. I think one of the special things for me about this building is when you look at the lobby of the building and you see the students, but the students are surrounded by tributes of all of the people who've come before them who've worked hard to make the band what it is and that give the band its prominence that it has now. So it's really interesting to see the new generation of students surrounded by names on our wall of honor about people who work tirelessly to get the band to have this wonderful facility. And so it's kind of a mix of the history of the band as well as the future of the band wrapped in kind of the present circumstances of the band. And it's one of the things that really makes this university band program really special because it ties the past and the future with the present students in the band.